Look guys, there's five simple reasons why you're not seeing results in the gym, whether it's cutting fat, building muscle, getting lean, getting toned, body recomposition, whatever your goal is right now, there's five reasons why you're struggling to get results. And in this video, I'm gonna go over those five things to hopefully help you accelerate in your fitness journey. I thought about making this video because one, I'm getting results myself, like I'm in the process of seeing my body change in real time, but I'm also like in my fitness era right now, where it's like, I'm just prioritizing fitness, right? Like I'm training twice a day, almost every single day. Like either I'll run in the morning and lift in the evening, or I'll lift in the morning and run in the evening. So on Monday, like I'll do a long run, seven, eight, 10 mile run. And then in the evening I get bored and I want to go lift again. So I'll, you know, hit arms. That's, that's, that's just how it is. Like, I can't take a, a, a day off even if I wanted to. Like oh, the only times that I'm not training is when I'm sick. We all know health, being in shape, being fit, obviously your longevity, you get to enjoy your life. You get to be healthy, right? You get to live longer, but it's also like your life is enhanced when you're in shape, when you're fit. You get more attraction from women. You get more respect from other men. People start to look at you more. They start to gravitate towards your energy. You feel better. You're more energetic. You can do more things, right? You have more brain clarity. Like your life is just better when you're in shape. And that's a fact. Nobody can argue that. It's a shame for a guy to live a life and just never see what his body is capable of. Never see how far he can take his body. And that's why I feel like every guy needs to at least once in their life go through this fitness era where they're just prioritizing fitness and they're just training like a fucking savage because they're, they just want to. That's why I wanted to make this video. So I don't want to keep wasting your time. Just get straight into it. Number one is you're not training hard enough. Look, I promise you, you're not training hard enough. If you've been training consistently, you've been training for a while, like let's say uh, three, six months, a year, two years, and you're still not like where you want to be. You, you're not even close to where you want to be. Bro, it's because you're training like a little bitch. I promise you, bro, you are not training hard enough. You think you are. You might think you're training hard enough. Like, yeah, I'm sweating. I'm sore. Bro, you're not training hard enough. And I'm, I'm telling you this from experience. As humans, we don't even know how much we're capable of. Like usually when we're pushing ourselves, we're usually just at 40%. So there's another 60% that's like 60% of our potential that we haven't even tapped yet. And this is for everyone. Like I'm not, I'm not just coming at you. Again, I'm speaking from experience. This is, this was me as well. But bro, just go in. The, next time you go work out, you go in the gym. Bro, look around. Nobody in that shit going hard. Nobody in that shit really pushing themselves. Everybody want to look good. Everybody want to feel good and be fit. But nobody fucking trains hard. Motherfuckers just going super light, not even straining the muscle, doing all this high rep bullshit, not pushing the muscle to failure, like leaving reps on the table to save energy just talking all day with their boys on their phone all day taking super long between sets like this is how people train and that's why almost nobody is in shape almost nobody is fit even the people that go to the gym this is by far the most important thing when it comes to building muscle or seeing results in the gym you have to be training hard enough if you're lifting weights you have to be pushing heavy bro you have to let go of that lightweight heavy rep shit like you you have to give the muscle a reason to stay a reason to build and that's by pushing heavy weight actually pushing yourself to failure obviously you don't want to ego lift right but you want to lift heavy because getting stronger is what's going to trigger muscle growth you have to pick a weight that's competitive enough for you where you can do at least six to 10 reps, six to 12 reps. That's a good rep range in my opinion. And once you get to a weight where you can do like eight, 10 reps clean, go up, like keep pushing yourself. Like I said, I run a lot. I'm, I'm at 25 miles this week and it's Saturday right now. So, and I'm running tomorrow. So I'll, I'm gonna hit 30 miles this week. That's a lot of fucking cardio. I have to push heavy. I have to give my muscle a reason to stay if I wanna keep that muscle while doing all this cardio. I'm running 30 miles a week. Guess what? I'm still pushing 225. I'm still pushing 80, 85s on shoulder press. That's because I actually push myself. I push heavy fucking weight. And like I said, I'm not saying I ego lift, but for example, right? If I'm doing incline press, right? Let's say I'm doing 90s, 90 pounds on incline press. If I can do like eight, 10 reps clean, bro, I'm going up to 100. Why the fuck not? Like, this is how you guys have to lift. That's how I train four to six rep range around there. That's strength training for me. And then six plus, six plus is hypertrophy. That's how that's that's how I see it. And that's again, I'm not the best in shape. There's people that know more out there, the scientific dickheads and all that shit. That's how I train, and that's how I've been seeing results. Lift heavy, run far, stay natty. That's it, bro. And number two, the second most important thing is you have to dial in 
your diet. I feel like when it comes to cutting fat specifically, building muscle, dialing in like your body, recomposition and all these things, getting lean, you have to have a good diet. You have to know what you're putting in your body because I don't care what nobody says, you can't out train a bad diet. Like, yes, you might get away with dirty bulking or like eating dirty foods and, and still going to the gym. You might put on muscle, you might put on size. Yes, are you gonna look good? Are you gonna look lean? Are you gonna look vascular, see fucking veins? Probably not unless you're taking steroids. Like for you to really get lean, cut fat, bro, you have to dial in your diet. There's no way around that. For you to feel good on the inside and on the outside, you have to dial in your diet. You have to focus on the, the nutrients that you're putting in your body, the food that you're putting in your body. I've tried to out train a bad diet and I just couldn't do it. Like I, I was, when I first started training, I was training with my cousin and I fucking let him kind of convince me and kind of brainwash me into thinking that, oh, you can eat whatever you want. You're training, bro. No, you fucking can't, bro. Like I was training with him, lifting heavy, all these things. And I was fucking eating Popeyes after. If you guys are from the States, you know, you guys know what that is. It's a fast food chain, McDonald's. And like, yeah, I was getting bigger and putting on size, but it just, it was like the bulky type and I, I that for me that's just not an aesthetic or pleasing look for a guy here's the thing if you're a guy and you're just going to the gym like for fun out of boredom you're trying to build muscle and like just be regular with it you don't care about looking puffy uh bulky bloated or like if you don't have any specific goals then yeah bro you can train and eat whatever you want but for motherfuckers like me like i take this shit hard anything that i, I do i try to be my best at it like i don't fuck around with this shit and i'm not gonna half ass it because at the end of the day how you do one thing is how you do everything so if you're somebody like me and you have specific goals then bro you can't do it if you're going for that aesthetic look that lean muscular good skin brain clarity no brain fog energetic all these things like bro i'm sorry to tell you you can't eat whatever you want am i saying you have to be perfect no, but at least you have to follow the 80-20 rule or like the 90-10 rule where 80% clean foods and 20% whatever you want. I, I would say even go like up more, especially if you're starting out and you don't have no results, like you're not in shape at all. I would say go 90-10, bro. Be strict at the beginning and then ease off a little when you start getting results. Number three is consistency. Look, if you don't have a consistent gym routine, I don't care who you are, you'll never see results. You can't be consistent for a week and then stop. Consistent for a month and then stop. It doesn't work like that. People think just because they were consistent this whole week, time to take the gas off next week. No, bro. Like there's no finish line for fitness. There's no finish line for this shit. Like this shit is forever. We're trying to be healthy forever. Building muscle and seeing results in the gym takes time. And if you're not consistent with it, you're not giving your body enough time to start building proper foundations but also if you're consistent for one week then stop consistent for a month then stop all you're doing is setting yourself back and shooting yourself in the foot because as soon as you have momentum you stop and it's so hard to get that momentum again when i first started training back in 2020 from 2020 2021 2022 i was inconsistent it's no surprise that i looked how i look it wasn't up until 2023 where i started to be consistent I actually have a gym routine where i'm going multiple t multiple days in a week and I'm not missing days. This is a, a all a year or year round consistent thing. And now again, no surprise that that was the first time I started seeing results after training for like two, three years. You need to be consistent guys. Like just make a goal for yourself. For the next three or four months, you're gonna hit the gym at least three times a week. That's all you need. A consistent three to four months, you're gonna start seeing results. Are you gonna get in the best shape? No, but you're gonna start seeing results. And at that point, bro, it's gonna be easy to get you in the gym. You're, you're not even gonna wanna miss a day again because now you're motivated. Now you look, you're starting to look good. You're starting to feel good. I'm not saying you have to be a gym freak like me, be in there all day, training twice a day, every day, but you need to be in there enough times. Like you need to give your, your muscles and your body enough frequency, enough volume, enough intensity. And that's all you need to build a decent physique. Number four is sleep. Now, don't get it twisted. Just because this one is number four doesn't mean it's not important. This is probably one of the, if not the, the most important one. Like when it comes to the gym and seeing results, people forget that sleep is where you grow. Sleep is where you build your foundations, your, your muscles. Your Sleep is where you recover. You neglecting your sleep is just you neglecting your health and setting yourself back and making it harder on yourself. So all this like sleep is for the poor is just bullshit. Understand that everything good happens to your body when it's recovering and you're mainly recovering when you're sleeping. You need to be sleeping at least eight hours a day minimum and you need to have a consistent bedtime, like consistent bedtime, consistent wake time, because that's going to regulate your 24 hour cycle, right? Your circadian rhythm is going to help you with memory, mood, overall health in general. But most importantly, it's going to regulate your hormones which goes into my next point. The last and fifth reason you're not seeing results in the gym after being consistent or like training long enough is because you might have low testosterone levels. As a man, your power lies 
in your hormonal health, aka your testosterone. So if you have low testosterone as a man, everything in life is just gonna be harder for you. You won't live a good life. Everything will be hard, including seeing results in the gym especially building muscle and cutting fat. You know, testosterone is a, a sex hormone. Obviously you have a higher sex drive, you know, better erections, blah, 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 right? But one of the biggest benefits to having high testosterone is that you build lean muscle while cutting fat. When you have high testosterone, like when you, when you do it, you know, you do it the right way, do the high T fat loss, right? You build lean muscle. Like you actually get bigger, you get stronger while getting leaner. Like that is a cheat code. And until I started optimizing my testosterone, I, I, I never experienced that because it's not an easy thing to do, right? It's not easy to build muscle, get bigger, get stronger while also cutting fat. Like usually, usually when you're doing one or the other, the other one kind of suffers, right? Like when you're building muscle, you put on a little bit more body fat or like when you're cutting, you lose a little bit of strength, right? Like it, it happens. That's what it is. But with high T, like the high T fat loss, doing it the right way, like cutting, losing fat, gaining muscle while still regulating your hormones. I don't know, bro. Like it, it, it's just like a superpower, bro. It's a Chico. Like, I, like I said, I've never experienced that before. People say that you can't do it, but it's like, bro, I, I'm getting leaner, right? I see myself getting leaner. I see my weight dropping. I see my body recomp, like, you know, body recomposition showing every day. And my strength is not suffering like crazy. Yeah, I don't feel as like peak strong when I was 175, 180, obviously. Like I'm 163 right now, 164, but I'm still benching 225. Like I'm still pushing 80, 85s on shoulder press. I'm still pushing 90s, 100s on dumbbell flat bench press, right? So my point is when you have high testosterone as a man, it is a cheat code. When you're optimizing and regulating your hormones, it is a cheat code. Life is much easier, right? You build muscle faster. You cut fat easily while keeping that muscle. You are more attractive. You are more confident. You're more ambitious. You're more energetic. You're more motivated. You're more horny. Your sex drive is up. You're more uncontrollable. You do what you want to do and you don't care what nobody else has to say about it. You're your own man. You're your own person. You're more likely to take risks. You're more likely to go after adventurous shit, after hard shit. You're more resilient. You're more disciplined. Like this is life as a man with high testosterone. That's it right there, guys. Like that, that's the five reasons why I believe that if you're watching this and you've been training long enough and you've been in the gym for some time and you're still not seeing results, this is why I think you're not seeing results. You're not training hard enough. You're not dialing in on your diet. You're not consistent. You're not regulating your sleep and you're not optimizing your hormones like testosterone. If somebody was to come and ask me, bro, why do you think you weren't seeing results? Why do you think you plateaued? Why do you think you were stuck in your fitness journey? Give me five reasons right now, the, the most important reasons. These would be the five reasons. I can't think of anything else personally for me. Train with intensity, train hard, push yourself, eat right, eat clean for most of the time, sleep right, stay consistent, and optimize your hormones. That's how you do it, guys. So I hope this video helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe, join the brotherhood, and I'll see you guys on the next video.